Katrina Warren. When people have a question about their family cat, they call me. Join me as I visit, get to know and help some of the coolest cats around. And together with my colleagues, we assess each new situation, devise a strategy and then I'm off. Hi and welcome to House Cat House Call. Hey Stacey, hey Deborah. Hi Katrina. Hey Katrina. This family loves to entertain, but they're bothered because their cat is not a party animal. My name's Kurt, I work for a software company in San Francisco, California. I'm Rebecca, I'm a graphic designer. We train together every morning, we ride together every weekend. And when we get home from our rides, our kitties are always at the door waiting for us. We live here with Max and Charlie. Basically, we pay the rent, and Max and Charlie make the rest of the decisions in the house, and we just adore them. <laughs> They're definitely the kings of the house. The two cats are the yin and yang. Charlie is independent, curious, uh, likes to come around uh, to make sure he gets fed. Max basically would like to spend his entire life hanging out only with the two of us, and if he had his druthers, there would be never anyone at the front door. When someone comes to the door he doesn't know, he bolts. He runs upstairs. He usually doesn't hide under the bed if it's not too threatening, but he basically doesn't want anything to do with you. Where are you, Max? Come here. Come here, honey. If he could learn to trust a little more, he'd probably really enjoy himself. I'd like to ask Dr. Katrina, what are the specific things we can do to make him a happier, more socialized cat? I sure would like to be able to share our cats with our friends. You know, Katrina, some cats are just naturally more timid than others. But they're not necessarily unhappy. It's true. Maybe we could use a pheromone spray in this case. Yep, I guess I go to San Francisco. Katrina. I am. How nice to you? meet you. Hi, Hi Rebecca. Rebecca. How's it going? It's going fine, and Max is waiting for you upstairs, we think. So. Oh, really? Yes. Is he hiding out somewhere? Yes, he is. Okay. This is where he usually likes to... Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. As you can see, he's ecstatic about having company. Now, is it someone knocking at the door that sends him away, or people in the house, or he's just always like that? I, I think it's visual. As soon as he sees someone or senses whatever triggers him, he's right. gone. So. And has he always been like that? Yeah, he's always been very shy, but he's also very shy about noise. I mean, he does hear things, and then, um, especially loud noises, he gets freaked out. Yeah. Know, he, he really... Well, let's have a chat, because yeah. I want to learn about his history and, okay. and okay. how he got to be like this. What was he like when you brought him home? He hid behind that bed for uh, three days. He didn't come out at all. And so, you know, we waited, and um, eventually he came out, and now he sleeps with us. He trusts us completely, you know. I mean, he loves us, but he's very shy around people he doesn't know. What we need to do is create a really calm environment for Max whenever visitors are going to come over. And you also need to enlist a couple of visitor friends that will put in a little bit of time for you and, and help Max get his confidence up. So if you can get a visitor to come in and just quietly sit on the floor and hand feed him, hand sure. feed him yeah. around dinner time so he's hungry. Yeah. If he doesn't come out, okay. it doesn't matter. They can just put his food out and Max can get used to just having someone that's completely harmless in the room with him. Buy some of the pheromone spray, it's mm -hmm. worth a try, and any visitors that come over, spray it on their legs. Basically what it is, it's, it's a synthetic version of the pheromone hormone that cats release when they, you know, when they rump on you and on yeah. surfaces. That smell to them creates a feeling of calm, and it's often used um, in multi-cat households and when there's an, an anxious cat, and this might really help you guys. How quickly does the spray take effect? It's immediate. Okay, great. No visitors from now on are allowed to try and pick him up or pet him at all until he's a lot more comfortable yeah. or he's yeah. become friends. Yeah. So, okay. so that's a no-no. Okay, guys, well, good luck, and I'll check back with you again. Thanks Great. so much, Katrina. Thank you. Looking forward to it. House Cat House Call with Dr. Katrina Warren, presented by Purina Cat Chow. Physical, emotional, complete. That's the Purina Cat Chow way of life. Hello Hi. there. How are you? Well, good. Good. Thank you. Come on in. How's it going? Good. Having a little bit of success? Yeah. Yeah, I think Max so. Max is very excited about seeing you. I'm sure <laughs> yes. he is. Okay, 
what's been going on? Well, Max seems to be working with us a little bit more. He's, I wouldn't say he's social, but he is more curious and uh, he's not as miserable when people are over here. So he's, he's definitely in the right uh, direction on this thing. And have you been working with him with the pheromone spray? Well, we've tried it with all of our friends who come over. We spray them down at the <laughs> front door. <laughs> And we asked him to go quietly and play with the toys, and uh, he seems responsive. He's still Max, but I mean, he's he's yeah, in the he's right getting, direction. Yeah, yeah. I guess the most important thing is to realise that it's going to take some time. And you guys are great yeah. because right. you've listened to everything. Yeah. You're doing it gradually. You're not expecting a miracle, but we are making progress. So hopefully, just keep it up. Okay, guys, you know what to do, and you're doing a great job so far. Thanks so much for coming, Katrina. It's a pleasure. Thank I you. also want to thank you on behalf of Max. I think he's going to really like it. <laughs> no worries. Bye. See you later. Hi, I'm Dr. Debbie Horowitz from House Cat House Call, and I'm one of the Prina Cat Chow mentors that can help you and your cat get the most out of the life you share. If you have a question about your cat, go to catchout.com and send us an email.